Eternal God, give us insight to discern your will for us, to give up what harms us, and to seek the perfection we are promised in Jesus Christ our Lord. As I went, ruined, rushing to that low, there had before my eyes been offered one who seemed long silent to be faint and dry. Seeing him near in that great wilderness, to him I screamed my miserere, Save me, whatever shadow or truly man you be. His answer came to me, No man. A man I was in times long gone, of Lombard stock, my parents both by Patria and Mantuan, and I was born, though late, sub Iulio. I lived at Rome in good Augustus' day, in times when all the gods were lying cheats. I was a poet then. I sang in praise of all the virtues of Anchises' son. From Troy he came, proud Ilion raised in flame. But you turned back. Why seize such grief and harm? Why climb no higher up that lovely hill? The cause and origin of joy shines there. So could it be, I answered him, my brow in shy respect bent low. You are that Virgil, whose words flow wide, a river running full. You are the light and glory of all poets. May this serve me, my ceaseless care, the love so great that made me search your writings through. You are my teacher, you my lord and law. From you alone I took the fine-tuned style that has already brought me so much honour. See there? That beast I turn because of that. Help me. Your wisdom's known. Escape from her. To every pulsing vein she brings the tremor. Seeing my tears, he answered me, There is another road. And that, if you intend to quit this wilderness, you're bound to take.
Jesus, our brother, you followed the necessary path and were broken on our behalf. May we neither cling to our pain where it is futile, nor refuse to embrace the cost when it is required of us, that in losing ourselves for your sake, we may be brought to new life. Amen. <laughs>